Hello everyone, I'm Xiao Liang. I'm here to give a short overview of our results on non-medible zero knowledge. This is joint work with Alan Kim and Aung Khan Pandey. Let's first briefly recall the definition for non-medible commitments and non-medible zero knowledge. For non-medible commitments, we consider the so-called mine in the middle execution. In this execution, there is an adversary, we denote it as M. In the left execution, an honest committer commits to M. And in the right execution, this adversary M plays the role of a committer, committing to some message to the receiver R. What non malleable commitments want to achieve is that the value committed by this adversary M in the right session should be independent of the value committed by the honest committer C in the left session. To capture this requirement, I first need to define two important random variables. The first variable is the view of the mine in the middle adversary, view M. The other one is M tilde, which is the value committed in the red execution by the mine in the middle adversary. In this meme execution, we concern the joint distribution of these two variables. Now we compare this real world with a simulated world, where the honest receiver is talking to a simulator. This setting is a little bit different from a zero-knowledge definition, in that the simulator cannot rewind the receiver R, because R is an honest receiver. However, the simulator can run the mind-middle adversary internally and potentially rewind him. The simulator is required to be efficient, and importantly, he doesn't know the value M committed in the real game by the left honest committer. At the end of this simulated world, the simulator outputs a tuple. And we say that a commitment scheme is non malleable if these two tuples are computationally indistinguishable. Here, the intuition is that in this simulated world, the simulator managed to simulate the view of the minor middle together with the value committed by the main middle, without knowing the honest committer's value m. Therefore, this intuitively implies that the value committed by the main middle should be independent of the value committed by the honest committer. non malleable zero-knowledge can be defined in a similar way. We also consider the main middle execution, but the main middle adversary plays the role of a verifier in the left communication. In the right communication, this adversary plays the role of a potentially malicious prover, proving some statement to the right honest verifier. Similar to the non malleable commitment, the goal here is to make sure that the mind middle adversary cannot prove statements that he cannot prove originally, meaning without talking with this honest verifier in the left. To capture this requirement, we look at the value output by the honest verifier. This is a binary bit indicating if the verifier accepts the adversary's proof or not. Now in the simulated board, we again have this simulator talking to the verifier, trying to prove the same statement. Importantly, this simulator doesn't know the witness W, and also it doesn't know the witness for this executor. However, this simulator is trying to make the verifier output a bit B prime which is supposed to be computationally indistinguishable from the verifier's decision bit in the real world. As you can see, if the simulator managed to do so, that means what the adversary did in the real world can be done by an efficient machine, which is the simulator, without having the interaction with the left honest prover. This is how we capture the requirement written above. Before talking about existing works, I want to mention that these two primitives are very useful. non malleable commitments are useful for reducing round complexity of multi-party competition protocols. And non malleable zero-knowledge has helped us obtain better concurrent secure multi-party competition. Now let's take a look at what we know about the constructions. In the theoretical set, after a long line of research, we eventually have constant round constructions from the minimal assumption of one functions. However, in the real world, the state of the arts are less satisfactory. For a non malleable commitment, there does exist an efficient construction based on DDH, but for a non malleable zero knowledge, 
there are no reported implementations with practical efficiency. In this work, we present the first non metabolic zero knowledge protocol achieving a real world efficiency. Our construction only makes use of symmetric key assumptions and is in the plane model, meaning without any setup. Our technique also implies the first practical non metabolic commitment using only symmetric key assumptions. This is in contrast to the BGRV protocol mentioned earlier, which is based on DDH assumption. This is all I want to share during this short talk. If you are interested, please look forward to our talk at full length. Here is the related information. You can also find our paper at this link. Thank you for your attention.